Since you attended this school, you've been responsible for one prank after another. Some of those must have been really hard to pull off. Like that tiger? Oh, that tiger was crazy. Ah! I became a fan of the books through reading it with my kids. And when we start making movies at DreamWorks, it's normally a very small team, a couple of artists, storyboard guy. And there was no producer involved at the time. I just started going to meetings. I would just show up at the Captain Underpants kind of when there was a meeting or a pitch and start offering some advice and giving some thoughts. And after a while, people just assumed I was the producer. I don't think anyone's ever asked me to be the producer on the film. It's just I kind of showed up, stuck around long enough that kind of became the producer without anyone ever kind of uh, informing. It was a real sneaky plan, and it worked. Put the pin down, Mr. Krupp, or we'll hypnotize you. <laughs> Start making... Oh, what's happening? I don't know. Oh. When I snap my fingers, you will obey our every command. <gasps> we used Dave Pilkey's books as an encyclopedia. Not just one, but the series, like, as, as we were making them. And we talked about the Pilkey spirit, the tone. You know, what was it in the books? And often, we would find ourselves when... Uh, struggling with an issue, actually going back to the books and seeing how Pilkey might solve it. So I think within the books there's a tone, there's an energy, there's a spirit that we wanted to make sure that we captured in the movie. You are now, now the, the amazing, amazing Captain Underpants! I honestly didn't think that would happen. What's uh, great for fans of the book is the books are extremely irreverent. They use different devices for their storytelling. And I think we've tried to replicate that in the film. So we have traditional CG animation. We have 2D animation. We uh, bring the, um, the flip books that they have, the flipper armors from the, uh, the, the, the books into the movie. And then we have um, actual sock, real sock puppets. So I think we ta have taken some of that uh, irreverent nature of the books and actually brought it into the film, and I think the fans will really appreciate that. Poor soul, you're trapped in some sort of invisible box-like prison. Is it okay that I'm kind of loving this? Yes and no. I will set you free. Oh, Ooh. but mostly yes.